Our next inductee, uh, I've had the pleasure of watching play, uh, so that tells you uh, how old I am and how young she is. And tonight we're going to have both of her children, Isabella and Nico, come forward and present Mary Jo Fernandez. But before we do, I'd like to share with you the video that we have ready, prepared for Mary Jo, and we can roll it. So I absolutely fell in love with hitting this yellow fuzzy ball. I mean, I would go home and hit it against my wall in my room. I hit it against the refrigerator. I would drive my parents absolutely crazy. And at age six, I was playing junior tournaments. But then the next transition, after winning the 18s in the Orange Bowl when I was 14, was professional tennis. So it was sort of natural. I never thought I was going to be professional. That was never the goal. That was never in the back of my mind, but it just gradually happened. And it was tough. I missed my prom. I missed my uh, graduation. Sometimes you have to make those sacrifices and they were worth it. And I think it took me four or five years to win my first title. So even though I was doing well and I was ranked in the top 10, I wasn't winning titles. And that was a tough thing to take mentally. Well, Mary Jo Fernandez and I did not know that we'd be playing doubles together in 1989 US Open. So at the last minute, like 20 minutes before closing of the signups for teams, we signed up. And we ended up having a great run through to the finals. I was really lucky. I had really good partners throughout my career. I always had the most fun playing with Mary Jo because she was um, one of my best friends on tour. And she's very calm, but she gets very nervous. And we would have um, amazing conversations between points. Like, oh my gosh, what do we do? What do we do? We were both like so nervous playing together. But she taught me so much in those first few years. I won my first Grand Slam with her, which is one of the highlights of my career. The Olympics obviously stand out playing in Spain, my father's country, beating the Spanish team in the final with the king and the queen there uh, with Gigi Fernandez. It was amazing. It was something I'll never forget. One of my greatest memories um, just in sports was walking into opening ceremonies for the 1996 Olympics and we interlocked arms, Monica Seles, Mary Jo, myself, and Billie Jean King. We walked in um, all together and went around that um, track and it was the most amazing moment that I have. I was really lucky because I, I retired end of 99 and I started working with ESPN in 2000 and it's been fantastic. Being captain of the Fed Cup has been unreal. I mean, it's been a dream come true for me. I learned so much from Billie Jean King for so many years and I feel like she really grew me uh, into being the Fed Cup captain. When I first started with the Fed Cup, I think we had three Americans in the top 100 and we're about 11, I think now in the top 100 with like eight or nine in the top 50. She's the perfect person to inspire, to boost confidence, to try to grow the younger American women as players. Mary Jo, I really appreciate and I'm very grateful for, for you and, and all that you've done. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot and I really appreciate all the help you've given me. I just wanna thank Mary Jo for always, you know, believing in me. She really treated me like a daughter to her when we were at Fed Cup. Um, I have to say, uh, thankfully, life is really, really good, knock on wood, <laughs> right now. Um, my parents are still with us and um, married with two beautiful children. Isabella is 12, Nicholas is 9, and they both play tennis. I love um, everything about being a parent. It's, uh, it's probably the most rewarding job. I have a very supportive family. My husband's in the tennis world, so we get to be together a lot, and I think that's why it works. This time I'd like to ask Isabella and Nico to come forward. Before Mary Jo became our mom, she was a professional tennis player. She was born in the Dominican Republic, but raised in the United States in Miami, Florida. Her mother is Cuban and her father is from Spain. She began playing tennis at the age of three, and by the time she was 13, she was one of the greatest junior tennis players in the U.S. tennis history. She won four straight Orange Bowls, which no one else has ever done. Even today, my mom remains the youngest person in history to ever win a match at the U.S. Open when she had just turned 14 years old. My mom went on to have a great tennis career, and she, and she reached career high of four in the world in singles and four in the world in doubles. She played in the finals of three Grand Slams in singles, and she won two Grand Slams in doubles. 
However, she is most proud of her success in the Olympic Games. She was a gold medal winner in doubles and a bronze medal winner in singles in the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. Then in 1996, she participated in another Olympic Games and she won another gold medal in doubles in Atlanta. She has been the Fed Cup captain for six years, reaching the finals twice and was the Olympic captain in 2000, 2012 and led the team at the London Games with her players winning three gold medals and one bronze. My mom has also been an ESPN and CBS analyst for 14 years. As good of a tennis player as my mom was, she is an even better mother. My sister and I are so proud to welcome my mom, Mary Jo Fernandez. best introduction a mother could get. Um, what an honor. I mean, you know, you dream of events like this um, growing up and playing the sport that you love and um, tennis has really been my life and after hearing all the recipients speak um, and congratulations to all of you. Um, Everyone has the passion and the love and the devotion for this sport in common. And I have to echo what Joe said about the lessons that the sport gives you along the way. And um, as, I, as I see my children, I'm so proud that they picked up the sport of tennis and that they like it. I, I kept telling my husband, who, by the way, he's very sad not to be here, but he just woke up, woke up he's in India. People were like, he's coming to Indianapolis. I go, no, no, he's in India. <laughs> Um, he just got there like seven hours ago, but he woke up and he, thanks to modern technology, he's with us. So everybody say hi, Tony. Um, that was very special for him too, to be able to watch the kids. But you just, you learn about life. You learn how to be a team player. You learn discipline. You learn hard work, competition. Um, there's just so many important values. As Joe said, winning and losing, um, that, that's part of life, that's part of growing up, that's, that's part of developing. And, you know, I, I see Katrina, can we, can we give her another round of applause? The next president of the United States. It's so inspiring to me to, to see someone I grew up with, I think we started playing when we were like 10. And Katrina's parents who are here, were one of my parents' best friends. They loved at tournaments hanging together. Uh, I'm not gonna say my parents were 100% normal, normal, but as close as you get, but Katrina's were very normal. <laughs> and, um, you know, to, to look, up, look at our steps and to look at how we got to where we are and that she's going to be leading in such a wonderful way and, in, in such a way with, you know, that she has so much love for, for what she's done and what she wants to do and how she wants to make a difference. And um, that's what the sport is about. Uh, now you heard the children say, I was born in the Dominican Republic. My dad was working there uh, for a couple years, but when I was six months, I did uh, move to Florida, to, to Miami. And I played all my tennis when I was there. But about almost 13 years ago, uh, I moved to Cleveland, and I said, I'm going, where? <laughs> um, and that was thanks to my wonderful husband. Um, a lot of people were, were telling me, are you going to be okay? I mean, you know where you're going? <laughs> and I literally just moved. Like, I had Isabella, and four months later, it was April. My husband was like, listen, we're going to go. When the weather's getting better, you're going to love it. We moved April 2nd. It snowed April 3rd. <laughs> so I said, this is good weather. Um, and I can't think of a better place to be and to raise a family than in the Midwest. Um, coming from the Spanish culture, it's actually very similar. It's, it's all about family values and it's all about um, education and you know raising your, the kids the best way you can. So I can't think of a better place to live. Um, I've had 
I think my best friends now are from Cleveland. I have a family here to, to show that. They drove six hours today with me, and we'll drive back tomorrow another six hours. Um, Jamie and Julie Lynch and their three beautiful daughters. I don't think my friends in Miami would do that. <laughs> but that's what you find here in the Midwest. That's um, the types of people that you come across, and you see them in, in this very room. Um, but I'm happy to say that the tennis in the Midwest is fantastic. I mean, it's thriving in Northeastern Ohio. It's, it's, it's really booming. I mean, um, we have Lauren Davis, who you saw in the video, that's come out of um, Gates Mills, right near where I live. Um, Kylie McPhillips is at UCLA. Nicole Gibbs went to Stanford. Now she's playing professional tennis. And it's going you know, really, really well. I was so proud to have Fed Cup come to Cleveland for the first time and um, showcase women's professional tennis. Um, so I'm hoping we're going to get more of these events as, as time goes by because I really feel like this is a booming, booming uh, section. So I want to thank everybody involved. Kathy, you've been s unbelievable emailing me, calling me, reminding me. Um, thank you. Ron and, and, and Violet, thank you so much. Um, this really is a big honor. I have to say, having my children here, and my very close friends, and my husband all the way from India with that guy in that green shirt. <laughs> Whoever got his shirt, that's where he is. Um, tennis has afforded me wonderful, wonderful life and uh, tremendous opportunities, which I, I continue to, to really respect and uh, not take for granted, because it's, it's very special what we get to be part of. And uh, I thank all of you, congratulate all the recipients again, and, and the Bradley family, what a special man, um, what, what a great gift. So thank you everybody, have a wonderful night. Madam President, it is my pleasure to present on behalf of the Hall of Fame Committee, Mary Jo Fernandez for enshrinement into our Hall of Fame. Mary Jo Fernandez, as the President of the USTA Midwest Section, and with the power vested unto me, I hereby induct you into the Midwest Tennis Hall of Fame. An identical plaque will be located in the Hall of Fame in Indianapolis, Indiana. Also, I extend my congratulations to you on being honored tonight. Thank you. Thank you.